What's up guys? We made it to Melbourne and we are on the bus with some of the girls. Say hi guys. Say hi to YouTube. It is beautiful here. Super sunny, gorgeous. So happy to be here. And now we are headed to our hotel. Going to check in and then hit the gym. So I'll catch you guys when we get to the hotel. So we're at the hotel, our rooms are not ready yet, but Norman gifted me a piece of chicken. I'm just do some rice cakes for my carbs. The microwaves are broken and I tried to fix it and I nailed my chin on the door. That's what I should be doing. <laughs> and I cut my chin. Jeremy yells at me. We are going to get in a meal, hit the gym, and then hopefully by the time we get back, our rooms will be ready. It is Wednesday at 11.40 a.m. here in Melbourne. We are like 17 hours ahead from Los Angeles, so it's like time warp. We like missed a whole day. So we are on our way to the gym, and all of us girls were talking about how we would love a massage right now. FYI, this is what it like what it looks like after you've been on a plane for 17 hours. Wow, this is rough. Um, <laughs> anyway, and Still we're like, the we find this place. What was it called, stuff? Natural. Nat Natural massage. We're like, oh yeah, up until 9:30. Let's go. What's your name, sir? Michael. Michael tells us. I'm gonna save you girls the trouble. That's not the kind of massage place you want to go unless to. Unless you're a guy. You guys, unless you're a guy, if you guys know what that means. I didn't know those kinds of places like really existed. Maybe I'm naive. Am I naive? They yeah. exist. Yeah, <laughs> they, <naive>. they exist. <laughs> okay. Let's save the time and the money and we won't go there. We won't be going to natural massage. This is the man of the weekend. Welcome Say to hi to YouTube. Other place you can He's gonna rock and roll. We're here. We're so excited to be here. He's too tall. I'm, I can be shorter. Tony we can do Doherty, that. we are at the famous Doherty's Gym, Brunswick. This is like the mecca yeah, you've out made here. It. So we're so excited to be here. Straight off, 16 hour flight, straight to the gym. We are just so ready to train. We're so excited to be here. Absolutely love Melbourne. My pre-workout. How amazing is this? Do you know any gyms in the States that have espresso machines? Like what? I'm so excited. So we're gonna warm up with little shoulders and then we're gonna superset all of our upper body workouts with some glute workouts as well. So warming up with some lateral raises, front raises, and then we're supersetting that with some body weight only split lunges.
you guys can literally see how sweaty I am. I'd say this was a successful first workout here in Melbourne. First of the peak week workouts. I'll be hitting a workout every single day up until show day. I don't really change my training style too much. I'm more of a little bit high volume this week and then I'll be doing full body workouts every day this week up until the show. But I will show, I will take you guys along with me throughout the entire peak week so you can see how I train and everything that I do. But whew, we killed it today. Narman and I are at the grocery store right now doing a little bit of a haul, just picking up a few oh. random things that we need. Luckily it was right across the street from the gym. So we're gonna grab a couple of things. My camera is about to die, so I will show you guys everything gonna, that I grab. Tim Tam. We are getting Tim Tam. Shh. Tim Tam. <laughs> um, funny story. Narwin's the only girl that is like as short as me. Literally, we're the same exact height, and we just couldn't find each other in the store because we had like step on our tippy toes. But like, produce was taller than us, and I was like, I hear you, but I don't see you, Marco. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll show you guys what we grab once we get back to the room because my camera's about to die, so catch you in the next clip. All right, so <laughs> we're in the hotel room. Narman at least showered post-gym. I have not showered yet. My but... hair is a mess. Don't mind my face. <laughs> Don't mind my... No makeup on. This is, this is like over 24 hours of travel yeah. plus like a super intense workout, two rounds cardio. of cardio, grocery shopping, which I will show you guys what we picked up at the grocery store, but... This is what we're doing right now. Looking at food. I'll ice show this cream. To you guys. This is Little G ice cream. Just sh let's show them this video. Okay. Where is it? Press play. There it goes. Just watch this, you guys. Like, seriously, where what? can I find this? It I know they don't have this in the store, but you have to like order online. Are and those animal cracker cookies? They are. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I heard this was better than Ben and & Jerry's. And ice cream better than Ben & Jerry's? I don't oh know. Oh my god. It's insane. But that's one video. You guys, we're just really hungry. <laughs> you just don't understand. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> we made it out of the grocery store without buying Tim Tams. So because like, we thought they were going to send so us Tim Tams here. I think they still will. They what is this? Oh my god. Talk about uh, mouth overload. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so. Alright, so this is what we got at the store. I'm missing the candy in my room. Oh yeah, Norman has some candy. <laughs> Three <laughs> bottles of water. Some roasted almonds. My almond butter that I brought from home. Several packages of rice cakes that I also brought from home. I got some gummy bears that I showed you guys in my suitcase already for backstage in case I need quick, fast acting carb. Got some stevia from my coffee. This is perhaps a little post show treat. So they have like all these weird, random little chocolates here in Australia. Jelly popping candy beans inside a chocolate. Jelly beans and chocolate are my two favorite candies, so in one is like heaven. I'm so excited to try this post show. Post show. We're not digging into this yet. Also, oh my God. <laughs> the world's largest oh my God. cucumber. I, should eat right now. So I know. So Wait, for reference. This is the cucumber, and that's my giant liter of water. <laughs> I also had to buy a scale because I forgot mine at home, so we stopped and got that. Got some asparagus, and there's some chicken in here that I ordered from downstairs at the restaurant. This is what's also in the fridge. Kit Kats, m ms so this like came in the fridge, you guys know, this is like $10 probably for like a can of Diet Coke which I will not be touching anytime soon. So I didn't tell you guys, we actually can't bring food into Australia. Luckily, the Arnold uh, is taking care of us athletes and they prepared like a whole menu that's suitable for us. Uh, so I ordered some chicken and some fish and I've tell got some know. in the fridge. Last year, I didn't know that we couldn't bring food in and so I, I tried to bring my prepped food in and I literally got like quarantine into this like roped off section at the airport. The dogs came and like hounded me. We had to dump everything out so it was like a waste of all the food. So this year I'm like I'm not messing around with it. Like I will just go with the food that they have for us at the hotel. They do give us an allowance um, a certain amount every day that we can spend on the food so that's really nice. But I was like I'm not risking it this time. And then of course we get to cust we get through customs and literally they don't even check. We totally could have gotten away with that. it this time. <laughs> Ugh. 
Oh well, it's okay. There's plenty of food here for us to eat now. The Arnold is taking care of us, the hotel is taking care of us, and we're just really grateful to be here. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go creep on some more food Instagram pics. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Finally took a shower. I swear, I don't think a shower has ever felt so good in life, ever. After over 24 hours of travel, a extremely grueling, oh, sweaty workout, that shower was literally everything. I did not want to get out and I exfoliated because I will be getting my first coat of tan tonight. But right now, I am just going to be sitting down with a meal. So I have chicken, asparagus, my carbs are gonna be rice cakes. I still am eating carbs, yes, I eat carbs on peak week. And drinking a ton of water. I have my giant jug here as well. Just working. I have some client check-ins to get to. Even though I am competing, my clients always take priority, so I'm going to be getting back to my clients' check-ins and making sure that they are all set and ready to go and prepared for the week ahead. So that is what I have on the agenda the first night here in Melbourne, and I've been meeting so many amazing, nice people here. I swear this is my favorite city in the world ever. If it wasn't so far from home, I could seriously live here. Just feeling very grateful and very happy to be here and very happy to have you guys here along with me. It's been just so surreal and amazing having all of your guys' support and your encouragement and your kind words. I can't thank you guys enough. I love feeling like we're on this journey together and I just truly cannot express how grateful I am for you guys and I'm so excited to take you along with me through everything so that you can see the whole entire process of peak week in Australia leading up to show day. I am going to get in my meal, work on some client check-ins, and I'll see you guys soon. Quick morning ab check. I just woke up guys. It is five o'clock in the morning here, but it's noon back in LA, so my body's like, Karen, <laughs> What's going on? It is Thursday, 5 a.m. here in Australia. I am just so excited and so grateful to be here and just feeling really good. Um, I'm gonna get some work done, take advantage of being up this early, respond to the rest of my client emails, get the rest of my client programming done, and I'm also going to work on editing this YouTube video. Right now, I'm actually just going over my event plans for this weekend that they sent us here to our room. Also got this, pretty cool. We have a Meet the Pros event tomorrow evening at 7.30 p.m. Friday, there's no events scheduled for us. Saturday, pre-judging is at 1 p.m. Finals is at 7 p.m. That is the schedule for this weekend. Everyone here has just been so nice and the Arnold Australia event crew has just been taking such good care of us and the hospitality here is just on another level. It's amazing. I absolutely love it here and I've actually gotten the chance to meet a couple of people. I met a few girls while I was down in tanning yesterday that said they watch my YouTube channel so if you're watching, hi girls! <laughs> um, it's been so much fun meeting so many people so far and just being here and I'm honestly so grateful to have all of you guys here with me as well and just all of your good luck wishes and your kind words, they mean the world to me you guys. I can't even express how grateful I am for you so thank you so much. I'm actually going to end this vlog part one of peak week in Australia here so that I can edit it and get it up for you guys and start the new vlog today so I will catch you all in the next video again thank you so much for being here make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you can follow along if you'd like if you're not subscribed already and make sure to hit that thumbs up button on your way out love you guys see you soon